Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and I heard you loud and clear with my rolling credits tutorial. How come when I move the tabs nothing happens? This is Rolling Titles Word Processing Tips. All right, I'll link to the uh, rolling uh, titles, rolling credits uh, tutorial that I've already had where I created a bunch of rolling titles. And what people were having a problem with, they were asking me how come when I move the tab stops in the title designer, nothing moves? Well, because you have to have stuff, you have to have tabs in the text to begin with. So I'll show you how to do this in both Word and Google Docs. Let's have a look. So this is the final result. There's the titles, and the idea is that these titles, the title has tabs. So if I open up the tabs here, and like I said, I'll show you this tutorial. Um, there's the tab stops right there that were added. Okay, so let's jump into Microsoft Word. And I've set this up already, and I'll show you how to set this up from nothing, but basically it's the same idea. And you'll notice if your ruler is showing, and you have to go to the View menu and show the ruler. But if you look at the ruler and you'll see these little marks, there's a right tab and there is a left tab. If you click inside here, whatever this tab is over here, will show up in there. So if I wanted a right tab, I keep clicking until a right tab shows up and then click in there. You can also double click on the tab and change right, left, bar, center, what have you. Okay, so that's how you add those in there. And you can drag them off to get rid of them. So we'll start with a new document and I'll add, that is the right tab so I'll click somewhere around this area here. And now there's a left tab and my text is in the left margin here. So the other thing that, that you need to set up, it's very important before we do this, in the options, in proofing, in autocorrect, make sure this is turned off. Set left and right indent with tab backspaces. Uh, the problem is if you don't have that on, when you hit tab, it won't go to the right tab. It will put an indent in there, which it, sometimes you want. That's the default. You got to turn that off. The other thing that's worth uh, looking at is in the display options, you can actually see the tab characters. They won't print, but they're in the text. So if I hit tab, you'll see there's the tab character, and now it's waiting for me to type the first word tab and now when I hit return you'll also notice that those tabs are now in the in the second area so it, the same thing applies okay <clears throat> now if I select a bunch of this text come back in here and paste it in because those tabs are there. See, there's no tab missing. I forgot to, I guess, copy that. The position of the tabs on the left have nothing to do with where these are gonna line up on the right-hand side. And you can see this one is off a little bit. So when I originally set these up, you can see that the, the right and left are different. So if we go back over to here, you can actually change the position where these are. If you're moving the whole document, it makes sense to select everything and then change these. But we'll be changing that inside Premiere Pro. The bottom line is it's important that you get those tabs in. If we look down here, you'll notice that I specifically don't have any tabs in here yet. Let's imagine that you've added, you have the text available, but you haven't tabbed this text. What I want to show you is that I'm on the left-hand side of this name. When I press tab, don't be concerned that it's not lining up yet. Go to the next tab, which is in between the name and the character, and now it lines up. 
if you didn't know this, you might bail on it too quickly and think, oh, it's broken. So in my original tutorial, I took for granted that you'd understand this. So this is the extra stuff. Understand that you have to format this here. That you can do it all in the, in the title designer, but sweet mama, it's a heck of a lot easier to do this in Word. Let's go have a look at Google Docs. Uh, so here we are in Google Docs and you can see up at the top, there's the same thing. There's a right and a left um, tab. And when you click in the ruler, it's, it's a little bit different from Word. When you click in the ruler, you will see uh, the option to add a left, a right, a center tab, and then to get rid of it, you can drag it down. So the same thing here applies. Now, you'll also notice that over on the left, for some of these, I had the uh, left indent is showing up. For the life of me, I could not figure out how to turn off left indent by tab inside uh, Google Docs. I just wanted to give you an, an option in Google Docs if you don't have um, Office on how to do this. So you can do it. Uh, you just got to pay attention to those left and right tabs. So that's all you have to do. Make sure, oh, and by the way, you can't turn on called invisibles or formatting. You can't see the tab stops in Google Docs. It's a long time request. Uh, so you just have to make sure it lines up. But it's tab, type in Kirk, tab, then Chris Pine, then hit enter, and then it continues down and along. So from here, let's go back to our Word example. Um, if we just select this, I'm not going to select all of it, and copy it, when we come back into Premiere Pro, create a new title. Drag with the type tool, we're creating area. Paste in here. Create a different font very quickly here. So the tabs are in there, but the tab stops haven't been added. So that's where we click in here. And you can put this anywhere, but I tend to want this aligned with the text. So I'll drag it up in here and you can see there's our tab stops. So we want a, there's our right align and then there's our left align, just like that, okay? Hopefully that clears it up. Um, my other tutorial that I'll have at the end here shows you how to create a long box and how to format it, uh, how to scroll a little bit easier when you have pages and pages of this, and also how to deal with, the, oh, I can see Kirk and Chris Pine was a little bit off. Yeah, don't worry about that. I would go back and tab that over. But this is where you have to start. This is how you have to have the tabs in there and then you bring it into a text box and then you add the tab stops and then you stick this into the timeline and make this a crawling title and then you'll be off to the races. Hopefully this helps you. Uh, hopefully I don't get any more questions and uh, everybody's uh, credits now look like these beautiful feature film type credits. All right. Hopefully you found this informative. Um, if you're new to Video Reveal, take a moment and subscribe. If you want to take your support up a notch, join us on Patreon for as little as one little dollar a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job listening to you and getting your answers done and making you look the best you can.